folks had a good Christmas. <sighs> now it's time to uh, tear apart the truck. So, I don't know. Let's just get to it. I know some of you are asking about the, the drawer system and the, and the deck. So, <clears throat> that was, or that is the power inverter there. So, that'll go over into EVA. It has a remote switch. It's right there, which will take off. Um, there's the holders for um, fishing pole. Yeah. And had miscellaneous. I had a pop-in shelf. There's a monitor right here, which goes to these two cameras. And it's on a pole that telescopes way up in the air. And my solar panels recovery box and the boards the shelves or the drawers which are right here i don't know five feet long maybe they said back in there and then up towards the front underneath the bed frame is where all the battery electronics are then i have a switch panel that's up there and there was another switch panel that was right here so which was this one So that's what I'm going to be doing. I gotta, I gotta get this bed out, take all these parts and pieces. <sighs> okay, here we go. <laughs> I was trying to remember what the wiring was for and I realized I put the under bed rail light, you know, for mood lighting type of thing. So anyways, I think I'm going to keep that. It's got a separate switch. I think I'll just kind of tie it up and then, yeah, just make that. So she's naked again, but I have a mountain of mess again. So I'll have to get this all cleaned up. And then I took that 52 inch light bar off and that's going to go on Eva. But, uh, all right, so I just I just got to clean some stuff up. Then I get to see if the bed fits. So one of the things I got to do, which I already kind of told you, so there's a housing for one of the floodlights. So I'll be changing that over to 12 volt. I'm going to run the power wire up inside this channel that runs all the way down through that little hole. And then it's going to go in this channel all the way down, and it's going to go behind that bevel plate, and yeah, and then come across, and then I'll have some, actually, it'll come down, go over to the battery bank, which will be right about here under the bed, and I decide to go ahead and put individual switches on the floodlights, instead of flipping one switch just inside the door i was thinking about doing a panel right here instead of doing that so when you open the door you flip a switch well i made my first attempt uh, of cutting out the panel uh, to go around the window kind of sketchy but um this this wall is gonna be the hardest one so anyways um cut the length Almost sound like it was raining. Cut the length and then uh, cut out the section that's gonna go around the lower part of the window. And then I noticed that uh, the jigsaw was dragging. So it looks like it, it would clean off. And then I put tape on it so it didn't do that. So anyways, but uh, yeah, we'll try to put it in, see what it looks like. 
don't think it's that bad. I got it trimmed around the window. Now I have to do the upper sheet to go around the window, but then I have to accommodate all this stuff. So this is, and then there's gonna be a 45 up there. I have to get this thing re-insulated and get that up. Um, it doesn't look too bad. It's kind of like the ship lap, that's what you wanted, and it actually looks pretty damn good. Take two, battery died, so I don't know if the first one went through. But I lined out this panel, got to cut this big square out, that notch. I got to cut the height. I got to cut out where the window is. And I got to cut the length. So, with any luck, one take. I can get this cut, and it's right. <laughs> we'll see. All right, got the second panel up. It doesn't look too bad. I just got it kind of held in place. But, so I had to notch that out and notch out this, notch out the upper part of the window. And I forgot about this 45. I had to notch out the 45. And then I did a slot for some wires and then it'll have the cove on it. This wall should be a piece of cake. And then that one's probably not too hard, but I got a 45 over there, and there's that other wire that'll notch. So, I think that'll work. Until I get to that side. Then I have to do the square for that one. Well, I got the second wall up. The one screw holding it in place, but... Yeah. So what I'm going to do with the screws is I wasn't gonna leave them silver, but I went ahead and painted uh, the top of them white. So anyways, and then I gotta do this wall here. I'm gonna go straight up and leave it like that because I didn't wanna have a four foot piece stopping over top of the door and having a seam. So I'm gonna do the seam on the edge. So this will all be one piece with that 45 and I'll run a piece over so the seams will be on the edges, and then I'll do that piece. There's another one with the box on it, and then that one's got the 45, so. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's not, uh, not looking too bad. The floor looks good, it's a little dirty, but floor looks good, the walls are looking good. We'll keep moving. Okay, I gotta fix that wire. And it looks like I may have to trim that. But I'm putting molding up there anyway, so that'll help hide that. So overall, not too bad. Got that panel. Now this panel. Got the other panel up. I didn't know that that box was a different size than that box. There's probably a little more than a quarter inch difference. So it is what it is. I'm not gonna cut another panel. So got the lower big one. This was the only one I had to cut just one, one time for the sheet. Now I gotta do this one, put a slot, and I'll go as far as I can. Come on. I can't reach over that far. You're going to have to get past it. Come on. <laughs> I can't reach that. Okay. Well, I ended up taking it down twice after doing the I did a jigsaw cut and then the top corner was way too tight so I gave up I just took it down did a couple of trims uh, it'll fit pretty good so anyways uh, I do want to wish everybody a happy new year uh, I hope you guys are having a good time and you're safe out there 
Um, I would like for you guys to hit the subscribe button. If you uh, stumble across this video, hit the subscribe button. The like button would be good. Um, share the video. Tell your friends about it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, make sure that you leave them down below. Um, then we're going to get started on pretty much the heart of the of the project. We got to do the bed frame and all the electronics. Never done that before. Well, did the bed, but this is a different setup. So, anyways, all right. I hope I see you guys next time on Two Way Wolf.